Hi, this is Angela McFarlane and you're stamping with AMAC. Today I'm going to run with you, run through how to make this card using the all geared up um, bundle. So this is a new, new bundle that's available in the New Occasions catalogue and it's a really, really fun masculine one to use. So what you'll need to start with is half a piece of A4 of crushed curry, then a piece of 10 centimeters by 14.3 centimeters of basic grey, a strip of crushed curry which is 10.5 centimeters by 3 centimeters and also a very vanilla piece which is 1.5 centimeters by 7 centimeters and just a scrap piece of smoky slate now to um, get this effect I've used the framelits which actually cut out but I've used the embossing mats which convert these into embossed um, images rather than being all cut out all the way through. So to start off with we'll just fold our base card in half using a bone folder, a nice crease and we'll pop that to the side and then I'll construct um, my embossing mats and stuff. So here's the this basic grey and I'll just pop this on about here and put a cutting plate on top and I'll grab my big shot line that up and I'll just flip this over and run it through there's not much resistance because we're just embossing and then I'll just lift that up and I want another image up here as well so I'll just position that like so just put my cutting plate on top I always find it easier to arrange these upside down and then flip them but hang on to it securely so your dies don't move and I'll just run that through So once again when I pop that off you've got this beautiful embossed image. Just move the big shot. Now we've also need a little scrap piece of paper of the um, basic grey and I've just cut out one of these cogs. So there's a whole heap of framelits available with this set as you can see. Um, and this is just the three joined together cogs that I used for this piece. So just to save a little bit of time, I've already run them through. And then you get your take your pick tool and just pop out the little extra centers. Move them out of the way so they'll be ready for the greeting part. Then you can already attach this piece. And you can just use snail for this because it's not going to um, damage your embossing or flatten it out in any way. So just decide which way you want that showing. I'll just stick that on. And I'll also attach my um, crushed curry strip, which is just a little bit of a background strip. So once again, if you like, you can use your grid paper to help line things up. So this one was just a little bit bigger, so it went all the way across and onto the other crushed curry. So that's ready to go. Okay, I'll just pop that aside. Now to get the greeting, um, I basically did a little bit of masking for this because the stamp that comes with the set has got, 
happy father's day in it but i wanted the outline that's on here so what i've done i've just stamped it onto a sticky note and made sure i've gone over the sticky part and i will cut out um, basically the outline of that so the bits that i want showing i'll just cut them out so I can then use this to mask the rest of it. If that makes sense. You'll see sort of what I'm doing in a second. It doesn't have to be super precise because um, you'll see in a minute why not. Okay, so that's the bit that I want and that's actually going to cover up those bits of writing so I've found that when I've inked it up before I had stuck it on over the top but the ink went all the way through so what I'm actually going to do is ink it up and I'm going to just stick this over the top and see how that goes hopefully that'll stay in place and then I'll stamp. I've basically got the outline of the stamp without all the writing in the middle because I didn't want that greeting in there. So once again, I'll just grab the big shot and put up platforms. And there is a framelit that fits around here as well. So I'll just line that up and run it through. So there we now have the greeting ready to go. Then just to add a little bit more character to it, I've just got these little bolts and nuts that I'm going to just stamp randomly around the edges as well, just to add a little bit more character. And then I will, I've lost my little strip for the greeting now, here it is. While I'm stamping, I will also stamp the greeting on the strip. So I ink this up. Another thing about these stamps is they're the new cling stamps as well. So they stick incredibly well to the block. So you just have to be a little bit gentle with peeling them up when you're done. So I'll just pop that to the side. Okay, then to... Um, Get the little flagging on the ends of these. I'll just trim that up a little bit and get it straight. And I'll just do about half a centimetre nick in the middle and then I cut to it. And so that gives you a much more even V. So I don't know if you've ever done it before, but I have and I've tried to freehand it and end up with different sizes and I keep going till I've got nothing left. Okay, so we've got our little flagging done. And I just use my nails, um, or you can use scissors, just to roughen that up slightly, just to give it a little bit more character as well. So that is our greeting. Good to go. So now to assemble the greeting, I just grab a little bit of our Tombow liquid glue and I just sparingly pop a little bit around the rims ah, of these gears. It doesn't matter if it's not stuck down super well because it's not going to really go anywhere. And then I just sort of arrange this so it's going to be visible. From a few different places so I'll just attach that and layer it on and then I'll just snail 
the greeting onto um, the background banner part. So we end up with that. So I've used a masking technique to get the detail of this stamp because I really like the the edges of it but I didn't want the Happy Father's Day greeting in this case. So the All Geared Up to Celebrate is a fantastic all round greeting and particularly good for birthdays and stuff as well. So then I just pop a few dimensionals on the back of this. Three should do the trick. And then I just attach that just so it's overlapping top and bottom on the crushed curry. So I've got that attached. And then I'm going to add one of these really cute little metal embellishments. So there's little um, spanners and little um, keys. So I'll just pop a glue dot onto the back of that. This, this is the easiest way to pick them up and just stick that on there. I'll show you the other little spanners that are available as well. Pop it on the grey so you can see the contrast. So how cute is that? So that's a fairly um, simple looking card but it's got a couple of techniques using the embossing mats for the gears or you could even cut these out and just stick them straight on top and I've just used a masking technique um, for the background but you could also just use a plain cut out um, shape for the greeting and you could I'll just pop some of the oily patches on here there's some little oil slicks and stuff as well so you can just sort of stamp them randomly over it as well and just put a few extra little nuts on there as well if you wanted to just to give it a bit more character and then you could pop your greeting over the top of that so that wouldn't look too bad either as a little background and that would create a bit of contrast for you as well but i hope you've enjoyed i hope you've enjoyed watching me make this card um, as i said this is available in the new occasions catalog and i'll just flick through and it's called the classic garage suite so you've got the lovely stamp set which has got a whole heap of different different greetings and a whole heap of different um, images as well. So you've got your oily slick, you've got a little oil can, toolbox, a nice old car and some nuts. And you've got this fantastic collection of framelits as well. You've got so many gears and bits and pieces here that you can do lots with so that's really fun as well and the geared up garage bundle is $84.50 and if you were to add your classic garage elements as well they're $12.25 that would take you over the $90 mark for one of the free celebration items that's available until the end of March so if you would like anything, please contact me and I can help you with your order. Or if you're in Australia, um, just go to my website and click the shop button and you can shop with me. And I hope you've enjoyed the card and the inspiration. Please leave me a comment if you like the colours or if you like the gears or if you're likely to get the um, bundle as well. Happy stamping. Have a nice day. Thank you.